Are you short on time, but you still want to get a great ab workout done? Well, we're here today to do just that with our five minute ab blaster, okay? So this is gonna be a five minute workout. We're gonna do five exercises for two rounds each exercise, okay? And each round is going to last for 20 seconds. You're going to rest for 10 seconds, then repeat another round of 20 seconds, and then you're gonna move straight on to the next exercise, okay? So follow me at home. You don't need any equipment. You just need yourself, maybe a mat to put on the floor and a bottle of water. Let's get into it. Our first exercise is going to be is going to be a knee tuck into jackknife. Let's go. So knee tuck, jackknife. Okay, knees in, touch the heels, and then touch your toes. So we're going for 20 seconds, non-stop. Okay. Got a 10 second break now, still nice and easy so far. Uh, and then we're going into another round of the same thing. So here we go. Now when you're doing both of these movements, make sure you are getting your shoulders up off the ground. Very important. If your shoulders aren't coming up off the ground, you're missing out on a lot of that ab activation. Okay, our second exercise we're gonna be doing is a knee tuck into hip raise. Okay, here we go. Knee tuck and hip raise. Legs straight out, knees in, hip raise. Okay, things are getting a little bit tougher. You should definitely start to feel your abs by now. Going for one more round. Let's go. Make sure you're getting your hips up as high as you can for every rep. Okay, exercise number three we're gonna be doing. You want to have your legs up and open and you're gonna go like this. Opposite toe touch, opposite toe touch, and then to the middle. Opposite, opposite, and to the middle. Oh, this is definitely getting tough now. Okay, that's one round done. Those are definitely starting to hurt. Make sure you have your legs wide enough so that you can get a good twist as you crunch up. Okay, three exercises down, two more to go. Our next exercise is gonna be a bicycle crunch. Shoulders up, opposite elbow to knee. Oh. oh yeah, these are burning. If you guys are finding this challenging, just make sure you keep going, okay? You don't have to go so fast, you can go slow, but try not to give up and keep going. The more you practice, the better you'll get, the easier these exercises will become. Okay, and our final exercise for today's workout, you're gonna be doing flutter kicks. One of my favorite finishes for your abs. So straight legs, quick little kicks just like this. Now the lower your legs are towards the ground, the harder the exercise is going to become. So if you can't manage it like this, raise your legs up a bit higher, it's gonna be a bit easier. But we're gonna try and challenge ourselves with our legs low down here. 
Okay, last round and then we're done. So one thing I will say is raise your shoulders up off the ground for even more of a challenge, just like this. So not too high. You don't want your shoulders to be up like this, then it becomes easier. Raise your shoulders up just like this. Just a few inches off the ground. We're gonna go into overdrive for the last few seconds. Whew. Okay, I'm sweating so much, you can see already. But in just five minutes, my abs are definitely feeling it already. Hang on, the time's still going. Okay, so the abs are definitely feeling it right now. And if you have more time on your hands and you want more of a challenge, thank you for that. If you have more time on your hands and you want more of a challenge, then uh, you can just go for another round, basically. So that was only five minutes. You can go for 10 minutes. If you're crazy enough, you can even go for 15 minutes and you're gonna have shredded six pack abs in no time. But yeah, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Get these workouts done. Let me know how you find them and I'll see you in the next one.